All right, let's get going. We're back. Now we're going through the looking glass again. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Ew. Like the shit from um, Futurama. Was it Slurp? I think. I must have messed up something. Camera. I don't think that was intentional. Oh, hey, it's the priest. All right, we got to find an arm for you. Got a bunch of face skin. If you need face skin, I got you. No way I'm looking inside. Okay. You know, with that attitude, you're never going to be able to make your way out of this place. Room 2D. You gotta wait for the sequel to get that 3D goodness. Alright. Corp is running away from dropping. I'm texting. There's lodging the statues in the mouth. Alright. Beautiful. Parchment scroll in a decorative metal casing. The thief monkey, or the monkey thief. Monkey thief. The judge, the judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gravel, the gavel hit its victim resigned. And so the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. Seems like that's a puzzle thing. Not quite sure which puzzle yet. Where we came from. Bad. What does she think she's gonna do, right? Like if it's like, mm, no. It's like, uh, like Silent Hill 2 fucking, uh, this is nuts. Um, why am I forgetting his name? Of course I'm forgetting his name. Um, not Harry. Ooh, what's this? A hammer with a wooden handle. How, do I, how did I forget the Silent Hill 2 character's name? The fuck? I keep thinking Harry, but Harry's the first game. Um... James, James, that's what it is. Uh, James just fucking stuck his whole uh, his hand into any hole he could find. And he always finds something useful in it. Why I have an ongoing policy that's always stick your hand in anything you can get it into. Not save. We have not saved since we started. Oh, there we go. That's a gone for the mannequin. That's right. We did find that. Um, we found that cooler full of hands earlier. Wait. 
Body is hanging like a makeshift by a niche makeshift noose suicide Well various medicines Suicide Yeah, man, I feel like maybe I'm saving those shotgun shells a little too much I'm being too precious with the shotgun shells Especially for those guys specifically. They're awful. They always fuck me up. Okay. Keep going. It's a lot of face skin. Something's breathing. Ooh, almost ran into ya. Um, yep, that's not gonna work. Okay, we'll come back later. I kind of next time we save, I kind of want to see what happens if like you sit in the dark for too long. You got the hand, right? Is that all we needed from here? I guess so. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, let's get out. I think that's it. Oh, right. We got to put the mannequin. There's a. There was a. Hold on. We gotta get back here. So. I think this is it right here. Because we gotta put the mannequin, the arm on the mannequin that's sitting in here. There we go. Use. Little space between the pieces. Little space between the pieces. Let's, sit, let's check your reflexes. Huh. Okay. But we're still looking for something else, I guess. Oh. A little morbid. Okay, so we need glue of some sort. Some cement, maybe? Well, we got a hammer now, but I can't think of any place to use the hammer. Let's see if we can get in there. Be right around this corner. Wait. Was this always red or was that green and now it's red? Oh, no, okay. There's still green. Right, 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 right. Okay. How are we gonna get past you? Hmm. Won't shoot the gun if she can't see. Okay. Look at that tongue. That guy's got some good tongue action going on. Alright. Well. Oh, what about right here? Isn't there supposed to be a door right here? Oh, okay. Let's go back to um the real world. Maybe we'll find something there. Where was the door to the or right here?
Maybe he'll know some glue. He's lost an arm. Hmm. We have a hammer now. We got that scroll. Is this room a dead end? Yeah, it's a dead end. No, no, there's a way out. Oh, is that it right there though? Well, what happens if we go all the way around then? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. The guy is missing an arm and you want to help him. Maybe get a little dirty, pick up a, a frozen arm. We're looking for some sort of glue, I would assume. The monkey thief. There's a stencil ladder and arm waving voice when he's small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. She seems hypnotized by angry movements of John Lips. His mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of so that she lifted out the hand of desperation. Hell hit. Resigned, so the cold blade eventually fell on the instant's neck. 100% that's a puzzle. I mean, there was that little, like, monkey puzzle, right? But it looked like I was missing a piece. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. This use there. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use. Okay. The sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his finger just uh, covered the surface of his paper. Aloud in an unwavering voice, doesn't seem hypnotized by the angry movements of the jizzle as the accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper. As she lifted over her head in desperation, the gavel hits, victim resigned. Cold blade and fell on a victim's neck. Looks like a, like a judge's, oh. Hmm. I was getting not realistic, but the arm shit is getting a little ridiculous. I don't know, like, I guess it's like a duality, right? Like there's another world that like you can affect. Just like pull it out. Well, I guess I could do this. 
read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. Read the sentence aloud, wavering voice, small bumps. Aloud. Small bumps. Maybe allowed because he was speaking? Yeah, let's see, can we... I wish I could just do this without doing this every time. The Def defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movement of the judge's lips. Hypnotized. You get hypnotized through the eyes, right? Usually, I mean, I, th I guess it's like multiple things, right? Okay. Then this one is the mother bringing the thing over her head. Hugh's mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. Capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. And then this is him losing his head. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Nope, that wasn't right. He's going to graft the arm on him. I think, well, I think she's going to put the arm on the mannequin in the other world. And because we do that, it's going to affect the real world. And his hand's going to be back on. You know what I mean? Now, how? I don't know. You kind of have to like suspend your disbelief a little bit there, right? Like. I'm not sure. Like, I'm trying to have a hard time, like, figuring out what the key words. In this is is there she's frantically he's hypnotized maybe because he was listening to him and she was I must have missed this that part I literally thought she was going to go up past oh no 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 yeah we're, we were in another the other realm and there's a mannequin there that we're putting the hand back on because it's a mannequin arm we're putting it back on a mannequin gavel hit its victim resigned and so the cold blade inevitably fell upon the innocent's neck so that seems like it's the headless one that makes the only sense the accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. I'm not sure what the... What exactly, like what word I'm supposed to be. The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The judge read the sentence aloud. In an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. This is annoying. In an unwavering voice. Maybe it's not supposed to be like the opposite. Maybe it's like, okay, so bumps over the paper.
God damn it, stop clicking that. Like, I feel like this is the last one, right? He gets beheaded. This is the gavel one. This is supposed to be the mother one where she, in desperation, she writes a note and holds it over her head. Something that I'm missing on this thing, maybe? No. A monkey, a thief monkey. Oh, oh, there we go. The monkey thief. The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice. His fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that cover the surface of his paper. Read the sentence aloud. Unwavering voice. Fingertips sliding rapidly. Small bumps that cover the surface of his paper. So, the judge is using his voice and his touch. I'm hypnotized by the angry movement of the judge's lips. So he's only using his eyes. Use my wrote in capital letters, frankly, I'm so prepared that she looked. She, so she used her arms or her, her hands, her arms, whatever. And the gavel hits, and then the blade inevitably fell onto the victim's neck. Or innocent's neck, not victim's neck. But also victim, right? <gasps> Uses his voice and his fingertips. Used his eyes. used her hands. A voice. Okay, maybe that, like, fingertips, right? He used his eyes. He used her hands. I don't know. I don't buy this. I'm not sure. This one is very clean. This one's dirty. This one's really dirty. This one's really dirty. That one's really dirty. I wonder if the clean ones are clean because they're never used. Maybe these two I should just not even pay attention to. So, if he used his mouth and he used his eyes, which we're not using eyes, what else did he use? Nothing. He used nothing, right? I guess. Maybe that's what that's trying to say. And she. Fucker and I. And she used her hands. And then he lost his neck. Yeah, because there's the the exact amount of dirty are like the exact amount that we need to turn. So I'm I'm gonna go under the assumption that the clean ones are clean for a reason. So okay, he also used his hands. Well, hmm. use his mouth. 
Maybe we got this one wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. I do wish this was a little quieter. This is like super loud. Oh, what if this is from the perspective of the 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 monkey thief right so at first he's cool then he's less cool then he's like this is progressing throughout the the trial he's way less cool and then he's without a head now let's try that the other way around where it's cool he's a little more not cool he's very not cool and then he is without a head on these is exactly the same across the board it looks like so that's I don't think that's a clue specifically yeah, it's exactly the same yeah so the judge says something The lawyer looks at something. He doesn't say anything and he lost his head. I don't know, I don't buy it. I'm kind of brute forcing this at this point because I'm not I'm not picking up what they're putting down here. Hmm. Fingertips. Over the bump. anything else that could symbolize neck i'm not like <laughs> seems to be the most obvious right and especially since like this is where the gavel goes it just makes sense that like Judge read the sentence loud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over. <gasps> oh, hold on. The judge is blind. Defense attorney is reading lips, and the mother can't speak. Got it. 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 So, judge is blind. You can't hear. He can't speak and he just doesn't have a head Got it. what's this stapler use staple gun the power is adjustable and even yeah, exactly like magic oh boy okay but we're gonna be stapling that arm on We have not saved. We've been going for about two hours now. We have not saved yet. I am. Um, I should save soon. Um, where? What's the closest save room to this place? Okay. Let's get out into the intensive corridor. And then go. I'm assuming down all this way. See? It's like one of those things where like it just does not make sense until like. 
until it does and suddenly it's like oh of course he's got bumps on the paper because he's blind and he's reading braille and then the lawyer is reading lips because he's deaf and the mother is writing on a piece of paper because she can't speak it's like so obvious now right but it's like at the time, I just... After going through that strange projection, I found myself in a place I'm sure I have been before. But it was different, as if it was the same place at another time. It gave me a feeling I didn't belong. I discovered something terrible. A young girl locked in a cell. Who could do such a horrible thing to a child? There is a robust lock holding the cell door. I don't think I'll be able to locate the key, so I should find another way to open it. I have to get her out of there. You know what I noticed? If we are that little girl, if we are that little girl, then maybe the guy that we're calling father, the priest, maybe that's our actual father or a grandparent or whatever, like one of them too. I'm just kind of the bond voice actually does not match your character you think so i don't know seems all right okay we got to get back into this bathroom right here oh that's right here he's lost an arm I got you, fam. Don't worry. I'm glad that we saved. Ooh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Achievement unlocked. Death. <laughs> Definitely not the first time I've died, but okay. I guess it's probably death by shadows. Be weird to introduce a new character at the end. Yeah, games have definitely done that. I feel like games have done that before, but I, it's like almost always a bad call. He's probably related to her in one way or another. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that was a good puzzle. This game has good puzzles. Like, what the fuck? Actually, really, like, they're, they're not, like, super hard, but they are, like, they make you think. Like, you actually do have to think. I like that. They remind me of Silent Hill puzzles, because the Resident Evil never has good puzzles, right? They're always pretty... Usually, just, like, find the ruby and attach it. Not very difficult. But, like, Silent Hill is usually the one that's got, like, the, the different difficult ones. So I like that. This is like a really nice... Nothing else to do here. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, look at that. Hey. Father, are you okay? Human unlocked surgery. Carolyn, my child, that thing has stolen my Bible. Stay there, father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. I bet he doesn't have any questions on how that happened. What are you talking about, father? It wasn't me. But I saw you. Oh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Dr. William? Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. 
Wait, take this. I'm sure it'll be more useful to you than me. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. It's the voice acting. God be with you, child. Electrical lamp. There we go. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We got it. We've achieved the next level. All right, so now we don't need to have this equipped anymore. All right, we got to figure out what's the what's the lamp button though. There's supposed to be one. Interesting. This isn't even version 1.0. Third eye is fully expanded. You're ready? I am ready for Nirvana. Uh, um, I'm so smart. So, 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 so smart. You wouldn't even believe it. All right. Okay, so we got to go to the office now. Which is, of course, it's on the other side. Oh, okay, that's not, at least it's not a long run. Just out here, up the stairs, through reception. Mm hmm And then it'd be best if we went towards the, the stairs, because the stairs will lead us to the meeting room, which will be right there instead of going all the way around. Now the office, oh. Thank you for your souls, Jackson77. How you doing? And welcome. Um, yeah, this is probably the best way to do it. But we don't, we can't get into the office yet. However, we do have the flashlight now. So there is that one place that we couldn't get into. We gotta go back through the, um, we have to go back through. In here. And we gotta go down that way that had the, um, the little slicer guy. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is what you like to see. Lock from the other side. Yeah, so we're going to be able to get over there now. All right. Let's go. This way. This just seems bad. This, this is like... This is like excessive. Poor guy can't even do anything. Some of that tongue action. Yeah. Okay, this is where the... Oh, sh Oh, this is bad. This is this guy. Oh. I'm sorry. That shotgun was so loud it scared my dog and I'm wearing a headphones. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Oh, no. You motherfucker. This is what I wanted. Oh. I keep like spamming buttons and fucking shit up. Alright. Equipped. Hello. I wish that didn't hurt me the way it did, but how much? I only have one morphine left too. That sucks. Okay. We're just going to have to deal with it for now. All right. So now that this is open, that should be open from the other side too.
Unless I can find some morphine down here. It sucks because she runs slower when she's hurt like this. All right. All right. How far back was our save? Our save was... Is it worth just going? Nah, let's just keep going. We don't, um, we don't save scum here. There we go. L. Yes. Hold on, I want the S. Okay, oh right, we do have those, don't we? We have three of them. I guess I could use that if I really need it. A homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electric charge. Seen you do it before? No. When? Can't open it. All oh, right, because that leads to a dead end. When did I save scum? I'm trying to remember. I don't think that happened. I think you're making things up. I think you're just a big old liar. Big liar pants. The only time... Now I... Mm. You know, I probably did it during like Silent Hill 2. We made the mistake of playing that game on hard. Well, maybe there. Pretty sure it was one of the demons. Oh. But you can't save scum in Demon Souls. It's not save scumming. The game saves constantly. You can't reload. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't think so. All right, what are we doing? We are going... All right, we are going across the way over here. Nope, not that way, though. That's not across the way. It's this way, right? Mm. I think we said we wanted to be. Are you serious? Oh, it's just the little dinky one, though. I think he's stuck on something. Okay. Rendering? Is that what's going on there? Interesting. Huh. I think he's not rendering. Alright, fuck it. Keep going. You gotta remember he's there though. I think I can mess you up. Now they're starting to add more enemies to the map. That's that's good. You always want that. other side so how do we get in there we got to go through the bedroom right oh okay I think I know I think I'm gonna put that electric thing into the card reader and it's gonna short circuit it probably open the door 
No. I'm not trying to make it fit. No disc. Slot for a disc. Okay, let's try these other rooms then. Let's let's go down to the restroom. Hmm. This is the knockers room. That's the sewing room, I think. No, that's the that's the library. We're actually we went the right way. Something up there waiting for me to just get up there. Gonna have to wait a little longer. Was it this way? No. Through this door, I think. And then over here. Alright. Let's figure this out. Triangle. So I'm starting to think that this, because I'm thinking of another one. The um the the one that has like the Egyptian on it. Like Egyptian pyramids, so triangle, right? And then I'm trying to think of what the other symbols were. An alien? The alien saucer, right? So I'm thinking all of these can be opened with this combination key. You just have to figure out what it is. So I'm looking at this. If you put those two together, like if you take this one and you flip it over on top of that one, it's a square. So I'm starting to think that maybe what I need to do is just be like, all right, this is a square, right? This, if you put it together, that's going to be the uh, one, two, three, the, the, Sec uh, I forgot what, what the word for six is for these things, but um, it's going to be this one right there. And then this one, if you just turn this tip around, that makes a triangle. So, yeah, I'm, this seems like it's right. Where that thing trying unless this one's not a triangle. Oh, hold on. I keep clicking the wrong button. I keep doing it. This one's probably at Pentagon. Hexagon, yeah. I always think hex is eight, but that's octagon, right? Yeah, so I don't know why I think. I don't know why I think the way I think. Octagon shells, hell yes. Please give me some. Ooh, another VHS tape. VHS uh, videotape. Chapel is written on the label. Oh boy. Time to go in the past again, I guess. We never did go back and check on the little girl. I'm assuming because that probably takes us back to the same point in time that that door still... The, the lock still hasn't burnt out. There are entrails all over the floor. It smells awful. Are they from some kind of animal? Hey, girl, come on now. Like, at this point, playing a little dumb is a little... Um, Unnecessary. All right, what do we get in here? We, is it just the... Oh, we got the VHS tape. Right, 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 right. <laughs> All those dead bodies. Yeah, right? Like, hmm, I wonder what this could be. It definitely has nothing to do with that, like, hundreds of bodies that I just ran past. Mm -mm. Like, come on. All right. All right, girl. Come on now. You got it. You got it. You can figure it out. All right, so that means we got a VHS tape, so we got to go back to the second floor, the other side. So we are. Oh no, we're we're actually in the right place. So go this way. Ooh. Oh, interesting that they go at different. I thought they just went at the same time, but I guess not. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like the coffee's great and I love coffee, but drinking coffee for like these streams is probably a really bad idea. This boy, just like yesterday. I gotta go potty again. All right, let's do this. So open. We're not gonna, re 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 uh, re what's it called? We're not gonna rewind it because fuck the next person. All oh, right, the Jesus piece, the uh, big Jesus that fell over. Maybe we'll find out why. Okay. Man, even back then, this vending machine was still not working. <laughs> All right, not Half Life. All right, that's a long way down. Let's go this way. Did they hide something here again, like last time? No. Father, what happened to the statue of Christ? Did you fix it yourself? Oh, hello, child. Welcome to this humble house of our Lord. I'm the town priest. It's a pleasure to meet you. What is your name? What is it? Did I say something wrong? No, no, not at all. I am Caroline, Caroline Walker. A beautiful name. Were you saying something about our Lord's statue? The last time I was here, it was scattered around the floor, in pieces. God forbid it, my child. This statue has been here for over a hundred years. We take great care of it. It has never been damaged. And let's hope it remains in here like that for many more years. I wonder if this is like... This is when we first met him, I remember he was like... Oh, I met you like three days ago. I wonder, no, it can't be because I think all those like boxes, I don't know. Hmm. Something very strange is happening here, Father. I don't know exactly what, but something is definitely not right. I've been here before, and yet I feel like I don't belong here. That's a familiar feeling when you arrive at a new place. Give it some time. Everything will fall into place. <laughs> Get it? Everything's gonna fall into place, eh? <laughs> Including that Jesus. All right, let's keep going then. I guess we gotta go this way. I can't remember if in the present day all these boxes are like this, if they are, but maybe this is um, just a couple days ago? I don't know. Is this a save room? I guess so. Ooh, what's in here? Freezing cold. Alright, we we don't we have no use for that yet. I'm gonna assume that's gonna change soon. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is three days ago. Well, two days ago actually. Okay, because right now it's December 16th, 1994, and here it's only 14 December 1994. Okay, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. This has been left to pile up. All right, so this is probably just open for the fridge. Probably going to need that for something later on. Keep going down the hallway, I guess. 
think Hollywood videos used to charge you a fee. Yeah, I bet they did. I mean, rightfully so. Fucking rewind that shit, asshole. We never had a. I don't think we ever had a Hollywood video around me. I think it was just Blockbuster. Or at least if we did, I don't remember. It was either Blockbuster or like some like smaller mom and pop shop that definitely, definitely doesn't exist anymore. Right, this is where the uh, battery is supposed to go, but I don't have a battery yet. Okay, we're missing something. I guess since we figured out the, the door situation, maybe I need to go back and go through the other doors. I come into here, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, everything else is blocked off, so. Oops. Okay. So we've been through here, and we've been through here. So now we got to go down to the first floor. First floor is the next area to go to. And before we do that, unfortunately, this coffee is kicking my, literally my ass. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take a break really quick. 